fewer people are running red lights at intersections where red light safety cameras are located. The pilot project still has another eight months left, but officials are already looking to expand it. And DOT tells me the cameras could soon be used to cite people for speeding. A little over a year into the two-year red light safety cam pilot program, the head of the transportation project is singing its praises. From our perspective at this time, it's working. According to Sniffin, since November of 2022, they've issued roughly 20,000 citations. But he says they are seeing a downward trend. Data shows a drop in red light running in three out of the five most problematic intersections from May to December of last year. The whole goal was for us to change behaviors in these areas, and I think that these, these cameras are doing that. Does this look like it is going to be continued after the two years? Definitely at this point, this is, that's what we would recommend. Sniffin says they are already trying to prioritize where to add cameras on Oahu and the neighbor islands. We'll work with the counties to ensure that they, they agree with those priorities. Then we'll move forward on the budget um, execution for next session to see how we fund them. The Senate Transportation Committee chair says the results so far have been positive. Yeah, there really hasn't been any um, public backlash as far as we can see. And we really want to try and take baby steps to get people used to this and make sure the technology is um, working, that the process is fair, and that ultimately it does save lives. One part of the program Sniffin says needs to be addressed involves citation dismissals. Two acceptable reasons to get out of paying it are if the car was sold and the transfer is pending or if the car was stolen. According to the one-year report submitted to the legislature, 13 of the 203 citations were dismissed because the person was not the driver. Sniffin says that is not supposed to happen. There's discussions going on with judiciary to understand, so everybody understands kind of where we are um, and what we're trying to get done. Lee says there is a learning curve. That's what this whole pilot period is for, to figure out how these things happen and how uh, we can do it right. He says the legislature will make the final decision next year on how to expand the program appropriately. Another potential pilot project gaining traction in the legislature could piggyback on the red light safety cam pilot to catch people speeding. We're looking at 10 locations based on the bill that the way it's written. It's 10 locations within one mile of school zones. He says the red light safety cameras are already able to track speed and could also be used to ticket speeders. Lee says they're not there yet. We really want to make sure that um, we don't have a repeat of uh, you know, van cam scenario from a few decades ago where you had a company that was really taking advantage of the public. And that's just not what we want to allow here. Sniffin says if the speed camera pilot is approved, it would be run exactly like the red light safety cam program with the HPD reviewing the videos and issuing the citations.